Ways to remediate that last octave include blocking techniques and rhythms. The students have to know for sure what's happening at the end in terms of how the hands are organized. This scale of B minor is very symmetrical. It's, well, it starts with four at the bottom and enables the um, tunnels to which the thumb passes to be mirrors. So, and the thumbs meet in between. So, if you just did that, you realize that that scale is very blocked, can be blocked. Just by doing that. That's the natural form. Of course, you go through each form and do that. But in terms of the very end, um, you would you would need to learn the the way it's configured at the end because you have the five and the one up here, and you want a little extra infusion of energy when you get to the top so you can come down. Now we're doing staccato. The student was working on staccato, but to, to do staccato, you work on legato basically because that configures your hand in the, into the blocks that you want. So here's what I would do for each form. I would do my blocking like this, and then I would go to the next form with one beat. This is harmonic, and then I would do melodic. That's it. Um, when you do these blocks, when you go up, you don't need to stay stuck into the block. Just let go of that lower finger so you take the tension off. I guess I should have done that too. So when you do that, you really don't have to hug these notes after you block. So this is really what's best. So when you get here, you need to stick to it. Although this doesn't present much tension on the hands when you get to the top. When you're in the body of the scale, I would say, yeah, let go of those lower fingers. But here, it makes no real difference. It's fine. Um, so then rhythms are good. So you do your rhythms. Dom, buddy. Just in terms of loosening up your arms. That's what the whole idea is. Now, obviously, when you do a staccato, you're doing this kind of a forearm thing. But this gives you the idea of the topography of what you're doing. I want a little extra infusion of energy at the top because when I snip it, but I go into forearm and I'm going to start cupping my hands, I still want that top to give me that extra infusion of energy. Mm -hmm. 